Everybody, it's Victor with Cardiac Wire, and today we'll be talking to Dr. Kevin Steele from Circle Cardiovascular Imaging. He's their CMO, but he also has experience using the new plaque analysis tool that they recently launched. So with all of that, Dr. Steele, why don't you introduce yourself and maybe tell us a little bit about your cardiology practice? Sure. Yeah. Thanks, Victor. Yeah, I'm Kevin Steele. So I am a practicing cardiologist located in Bellingham, Washington, very close to the uh, Canadian border near Vancouver, uh, where a 16 uh, cardiologist group hospital owned. Um, so we're quite busy. And fortunately, I get to uh, look at the cardiovascular imaging service and try to promote cardiac MRI or cardiac CT amongst our partners uh, with that. Uh, well, thank you so much for all of that background about your cardiology practice and kind of what your experience is with this technology. Um, getting a little bit deeper, obviously, with your role as CMO at Circle, we recently saw the release of your new plaque analysis software on the CVI42 platform. Could you maybe give us a rundown of its features and why Circle decided to release this now? Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks for the question. Yeah, the, the plaque analysis tool, uh, that has been around with a couple of other companies uh, for a while now, and Circle is now entering into the plaque arena. Uh, recently, they received FDA approval for their plaque tool. And, uh, you know, what really sets it apart is that the Circle's plaque tool is all in-house. There's nothing that is sent out. There's no remote uh, AI system, although it is an AI package, it continues to be all in-house. And so that really provides a, a service that you can keep within the walls of your hospital. Some hospitals and some hospital systems do not allow their images to be sent out externally. So they can also take advantage of this product. Uh, another advantage of having this product in-house is you as the practice or the hospital gets to determine what you're going to charge for that particular service. While Medicare will reimburse for about $900 to $1,000 for a plaque analysis study, that doesn't necessarily have to trickle down into your patients, although uh, you know, there still has to be a financial incentive to have this product completed. But there are some patients that can't afford to have plaque analysis done. So this allows for a little bit more health equity across the board, where you can provide this service to people who can't afford it or the people that can't afford it and all those people that fall in between if insurance is not going to cover this or if they are going to cover this. So it really provides that advantage as well. So I think that the the big advantage for Circle's plaque tool is that you have total control of sending you keeping your images within house and also that financial portion so you can provide this to all the patients within your practice. Thank you so much for that answer. It really does make sense, perhaps, why you would focus on that uh, as a defining factor. Um, but going beyond kind of the company side of things, could you tell us, I know that as a practicing cardiologist, you've gotten to use this tool. Maybe go a little bit into how it has shaped your practice, what it's like using it, and maybe some of the clinical value you've seen in it. Sure. Yeah. Well, you know, with our, my practice up here in Bellingham, we have a, a, a very healthy population a lot of triathletes, a lot of runners, so a lot of people that are really invested in their health, um, very educated population as well. And so it's not that uncommon that I'll have patients that will show up in my clinic that just want to know their cardiovascular risk. We have a lot of different tools to figure that out. You know, what is their risk for heart attack? What's their risk for stroke? And so this is one of those pieces, uh, the plaque analysis uh, is one of those pieces of that toolbox to assess what is the future cardiovascular risk. The power of uh, plaque analysis, similar to what's been demonstrated with the calcium score, is when you're sitting across from a patient and you can show them these images, uh, red for bad plaque or green for maybe not so bad plaque, and you can show them their coronary. That's a very powerful tool to motivate people to change their lifestyle or perhaps um, uh, change their diet or their exercise plan or perhaps go on medical therapy where they may be reluctant to do so when they actually can see these images. This was shown in the past with a calcium score, but we all know now that the calcium score misses all the non-calcified plaque. And that's where plaque analysis, that's pretty much the role. It's identify both the calcified plaque and the non-calcified plaque. So in my practice, when I'm going through my day and going through clinic, I'll encounter these patients. And this is, I'll bring up this conversation about plaque. 
uh, if they haven't heard about it already, if they may bring it up for me. And, and so we'll have this conversation about the the advantages of plaque analysis and uh, and see if that's something that they're interested in in having done or not. Yeah, interesting. I mean, it makes a lot of sense how this software and this type of technology in general would help uh, inform those conversations. Kind of uh, a, a lot of the people who have been following uh, Cardiac Wire are probably familiar with these terms, but just for our audience, could you maybe get into a little bit the difference between quantification of plaques, stratification, identification, kind of where do those things fit into a clinical workflow? Yeah, when, with the plaque analysis tool that Circle provides, the output that you get is total plaque volume, and plaque distribution. Again, that's a powerful tool just to show your patients what that is. But you also get a number similar to a calcium score. You get a, a number that then you can compare against normals to determine where does your patient fall, what is expected for their age group. Uh, and that can that can then lead on to how are you going to manage that particular patient. So it's much more of a personalized manner when you have that quantification uh, of the plaque and a particular number you know, this person may need to be on a uh, a statin drug. Uh, this person may not need to be on a statin drug, or this this person may need to change their diet in a particular way or exercise in a particular way. So there's a lot of different ways uh, that we would use that quantification to determine what's best for our individual patient instead of looking at them as one of a population uh, for that. Interesting. Well, thank you so much for that answer. And I know earlier in one of your answers, you kind of mentioned and touched on a little bit of the financial side of uh, plaque analysis. What are some of your thoughts on CMS's recent decision to reimburse plaque analysis as part of cardiac CT imaging? Well, yeah, I'm very excited about it. And uh, uh, the again, you know, CMS has agreed to about a $900 to $1,000 reimbursement rate for plaque analysis. And uh, so that's going to be a great driver in pushing plaque analysis forward, as it as this has been shown with other types of imaging technology. Uh, once you have some financial support behind that, then you can get much more buy-in from imaging radiologists or imaging cardiologists or imaging centers um, from stamp, that standpoint. You know, this the cost of plaque analysis will then pass be passed down to the patient potentially, or if insurance covers it, will be passed through insurance to them. And again, if you could, if you have a way and with the circles tool, you know, you have a way to determine what that cost is that trickles down to that individual. And I think that's a very powerful thing too, as far as trying to get this technology, not just to those who can afford it and pay a thousand dollars, but even to those who can't. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And it kind of goes in line with one of your earlier answers where you talked about increasing health equity and, and access to this really valuable tool. Um, now, you know, a lot of times when we see reimbursement happen, it's a sign of maturity for a certain technology in the cardiology space. Uh, where do you see uh, cardiac CT-based plaque analysis headed next? Is it here to stay? Is it really going to change the way that cardiologists practice? Yeah, that's this this paradigm is switching from uh, the, the reactive medicine of, of managing disease that's already been there, calcified plaques, or uh, people have already had heart attacks from managing that to trying to focus a lot more on prevention. So that's where this plaque analysis tool really dovetails into that, more of a preventative strategy. So I feel that, the, yeah, plaque analysis, I think that's going to be around for a long time. With see, as CT scanners get better, uh, with photon counting CT scanners, the, the evaluation of plaque and the, the high-resolution images that you get out of those scanners is absolutely incredible. So plaque analysis will become very highly accurate as the CT, CT scanners get out into the public and and more hospitals purchase those as well. So, yeah, I, I believe that plaque analysis is here to stay for a long time. That's really exciting, and it makes a lot of sense why companies like Circle would invest into developing plaque analysis software. I really appreciate all your time today and these fantastic answers. So I'd like to give you a chance. What's one message you have for your colleagues out there who may be working with softwares like this, who may be specifically working with Circle's plaque analysis and uh, cardiologists in the imaging space in general? Sure. Well, I, what I would say to the, the cardiologist that's seeing clinic day after day is to think about where plaque analysis would fit into their into their practice. You know, I uh, how would it augment things? How would it improve your relationship with your patient uh, moving forward? Uh, and and to continue to provide care for them. Um, there's a lot. We see a lot of different types of patients in our practice. Some are old and some are young. 
but I think that this plaque analysis really fits in well to that group. And so I think that that's what message I like to leave is just to, to think about that when you're seeing your patients, where would this plaque actually fit in well? Well, Dr. Steele, thank you so much for all those thoughtful answers and for really getting into not just Circle's plaque analysis tool, but how plaque analysis is shaping cardiology moving forward. It's been really a pleasure to talk to you. I've been Victor. This is Cardiac Wire. Thanks and goodbye. Great. Thank you. Thank you.